Hey everyone, it is me, Berserk, believe it, back with another Nexus review. Today we have the White Volatile Ghost from Keep Going Studios. If you can't see by the pretty mug behind the window there, this is actually a third party Orochimaru from Naruto. And haven't heard much from Keep Going Studios. But I have heard they've done one six figures before, and this is the first offering. They also have another one coming with this one, which is a black version, completely different character. Don't know how they're going about the line, but this is definitely a good value for your buck. I got to pick this one up for about $50 before shipping and taxes. And just from what's in the back and the packaging, and it looks like it's a good bang for your buck. Let's start off with the packaging here. You know, first I saw it, I thought it was it was tin, but no, it's just regular cardboard. You know, no S tier packaging for us, not today. And opens up simple enough. It's a lot easier when you're not wearing gloves, but hey, I'm trying to keep on brand here. And it is packed. Oh, look. Instructions for us, you know, folks that just like to open stuff and break stuff. Which, this is not my first figured handle, so I should be able to figure out. Hopefully, I don't break anything on camera because that would not be good. But here it is. Uh, let's crack this open, see how the figure is. All right, and here he is outside of the box. He's a little fragile right out. There's a few things you have to keep in mind. This belt, it does not come off. It's just a piece of plastic goes around. The belt buckle can pop off and get lost in the carpet, and you could spend, you know, close to 15 minutes looking for it, which, you know, might have happened to some of us. Uh, the the shirt comes untucked. If you want to put it back in, slide it in the back and just slide it around, which should be common sense, but you know, sometimes common sense is a little rare. The other thing too, the head the head has a weird shape of um it's not the the head with accessories, like three completely separate pieces, which I guess I'll show when I swap it off, show off the accessories later on, but other than that I'm going to start off with the top. It has the neck right there. does tend to pop off a little bit. which shouldn't be an issue with just simple posing. And the and the shirt. Elbows, it is double jointed. Right there, let's show that off. Double jointed. Same thing with the, with the knees. They're double jointed. Also has a swivel way up here. So he should not have any issues. As I said, belt buckle comes off. Just be careful with that. Yeah, shouldn't have any issues getting into any ninja poses as long as it's, it could keep his clothes on. You know. Does have a diaphragm there, which is a little impeded by Z by the closing. There is no toe hinge, but when you look at the detail on the the feet, you know, you can see why they made that choice. You know, Quentin Tarantino, eat your heart out right here. The head does seem, does pop off a little bit. It's a little, it's a, uh, The connection right there is a little tiny, a little small for my liking. I'm sure it has a good personality, but I would have preferred a bigger one. And uh, looking at that, the, the face sculpt, very detailed. Looks just like how you think it would look if it wasn't, you know, drawn in a cartoony style or, you know, The closing also very well detailed. 
a lot of a lot of wire down here, a lot of under wire. Make this really good when posing it out. So much detail, even though it's supposed to be covered up with with clothing. I want to point out the hand and the binding around them. Very well made. So yeah, the sculpt is really good. A um, lot of attention to detail. There's a few things that you got to be careful with or else they'll pop up, get lost. But so far, so good. I am liking it. Let me just start off by pointing out it has a stand. Kudos. Any time an import figure comes with a stand, I have to give them props. You know, if medicos could do it, why can't you? You know, very nice. Gonna yeah, be posed along with that. And let's get to showing some of these off. Like I said earlier, the head on it three pieces. So you take off his what would the, those be the bangs. And then he has a you know face plate comes off. The the sideburns stay on the I guess on the, the main piece. The hair could come off. That back on it comes with this uh, I guess we just call it the hey quit losing my belt buckle face and his uh, let's try on his sneaky snake face and you know easy on easy off you get the hair to go back in place properly. Very nice. Also comes with this. I thought it was a mask. But it is not. It is a shoulder armor that he carried around. Which you have to attach to this strap right here. Out. It's all right. It's my first time putting on a shoulder strap. There we go. Makes him that much more imposing. Also came with this mirror. So it has a shiny piece of sticker on it. Give it that effect. I want to point out all the hands. It comes with it comes with you know grabbing hands. The good old come here hands. And then the what would it be the forbidden jutsu, thousand years of pain. Oh, more like ten thousand years of pain with those nails. As I said. Very well detailed. Also comes with his signature weapon right here. Fitting quite well in the hands. Either or, I think it comes with. So I'm gonna see how they come in. Is there any issues with the the wrist? No, oh, big URC wrist pegs right there. And even with my horrible aim, it's still preventing quite well. No issues. Well. It's a good thing his head came off right now because he also comes with this weird piece that 
anybody who has seen any arcs that have a little tomorrow will know that he takes his snake fascination to a high level. Extra neck piece. So that as soon as I could find the hole, get it in there. There we go. And that's why it popped off a little bit to make it easier to bring it out. Here, let's reattach that here. As I was telling you earlier, it's a little on the fragile end. You know, isn't that nightmare fuel? Yeah, I know when it's extremely detailed like this, it just makes it that much more scary. Which goes with them. You know, we always got horror vibes from Orochimaru and any of his, you know, dealings with the uh, Leaf Village. Yeah, definitely loaded with accessories. All of them go great. Now let's check it out with a bunch of other figures. Let's see how he poses up next to other figures you might have in your collection. Here he is next to some Hasbro offerings. We got Iron Man and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Just to show off how he is a little taller than most import figures. He's actually towering over six and a half inch Hasbro offerings. Here we got got him next to two of my dangerous M's, a Viking Legion builder from Mystic Legions, and Union Gomez from Mezco. He's still a tad bit bigger than the seven inch, you know, Mystic Legions line. Here he is next to something you might actually pose him with. This is the Shippuden Naruto, even though he is a teenager at this part, he's a he kind of looks more like a child next to next to this Orochimaru figure. And it wouldn't be a berserk review if it wasn't posed up next to the toilet bot. And you know, toilet bot, he always scales perfectly next to any figure, so no complaints here. All right, and those are my thoughts on the white volatile ghost. From Keep Going Studios. I'm just going to go ahead and call him Orochimaru. Because we all know this is a third party Naruto figure. Uh, I am loving what they're doing here. I've always thought that. A lot of the anime properties that Bandai is doing. Could use you know. Another company's take on it. With soft goods. Packed with accessories. And this one hits both fronts. Very well sculpted. I, I like what they did here. Th these are definitely on my radar. Um, hopefully it's not just a one-off and we get to see more of the Naruto characters come into this. You know, I like to see uh, Jiraiya, Minato, Kakashi, just to name three off the top of my head. And yeah, don't sleep on it. A lot of these third-party figures, they don't get re-released. And once they're gone, they're gone. And the second-hand, or yeah, the second-hand market... Their prices uh, could go a little cuckoo. And I definitely see this one going that way. So if, you, if you're if you interested, 5K has them in stock right now. Ship very well. Pretty quick. And until next time, next time it's me, Berserk. See ya.